you know it's gonna be a good time whenever there's a lawn chair in the back of the boat. Back to another Maltman episode with my buddy Hayden and I, and uh, we're going after some bullfrogs. This light is super bright, so sorry if I'm squinting real bad. We're putting a little bubble boat in, and uh, we're gonna get after it, hopefully find some frogs. This pond, everything's flooded around here, so you can hear them in the background. There's one right there. That's a bull frog right there, Bill. We about to get some frogs. Now we're talking. That's what you call a, a real John boat. come out and do this you got a local pond check your regulations but we literally took a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe melted it down to fit on a little gig that you can buy at Walmart for like two bucks super easy super inexpensive and it is a blast me and Hayden do it every year we come out all the time we already got like I don't know six or seven in the boat this pond's not very big it's just loaded with them good I hadn't missed one yet so you better uh, better not miss or you're gonna hear it Alright, you had to get right up on top of him. Did he get him? Oh, he got him! Headshot. Judd got him on. Got him. Oh, I'm gonna do that big one in there. It's huge. It's big. <laughs> time training dogs and that moss it got into like my um, mud boots and didn't think nothing of it just wet and I was walking back to the dock over here at my dogs and dude straight up the worst pain I ever had 10 out of 10 screaming like a little girl I thought I had a snake <laughs> in my boot or something ran over here dove in the water boots on kicking them off in the water and Finally, after like five minutes, went away. Worst thing I ever experienced in my life. You don't know what it was? I don't know what it was. 
So if you're wondering why we didn't grab every single one of these frogs, because Hayden wanted to gig them, because he's scared of this water. Loch Ness lives in there, dude. <laughs> Loch Ness. <laughs> Loch Ness. <laughs> grab a few, but I just put that little gig together to show y'all how easy it is to go to Walmart and you can do it yourself. Back at the Graham compound. Oh yeah, we need to get that big boy. We just got the boat up and I found a monster hiding in the cattails over here. Uh, we talked Mikey to get down in his skivvies and get in after and he's coming in now with the spear, the gig. He's ready. Hey, Peyton talked me into getting the water. We've been hearing this big boy all night long. Sorry, I put my summer bot off for a couple of months, but that is what you call a giant. That is a giant. So we're gonna clean this guy up, add him to the pile, and then eat good. Back to Hayden's house. And uh, I don't know how many we got. We got a good little cooler full, but we're only out there, we're probably out there 20 minutes. That's it, Hayden has work tomorrow, so we couldn't stay out very long. And uh, we just fished one little pond, made one loop, and then uh, came back. So, how I clean bullfrogs, make a cut, I already killed him, he's, he's done. So I make a cut right above their legs. So you take you some, uh, just catfish pliers, grab that skin, Take his pants off. So those feed the fish. Get some on the back side sometimes. And then you can just cut their legs off. Take you a bigger knife. There, you got two huge bullfrog legs. Take your knife, and there's a little, you can see the white part in their foot, and you can just cut right through it. And uh, take their foot off. Some people, some people leave them on, some people don't, but that is your clean bullfrog legs. Another good sized bullfrog. Take care of them real quick. So when you pull it, it doesn't rip the meat or anything. Take his pants off. You got your bullfrog legs. Go right above his legs. I'm gonna chop with the knife. Clean bullfrog legs. So I don't know if you've seen the Facebook video going around of the guy that takes the hook out of the fish's mouth and throws the pliers back in the water, but I just did that with the other ones that look like this, but these are crap, they don't even close. So, now we're doing it by hand. So, when you do it by hand, you get your finger up under the skin, it's a lot more difficult. But it's easier if you actually make a cut on both sides. You can get your hand up under the skin and just pull it off with your hands. And then you can cut the... Alright, let's see if Big Boy eats. He's gonna go after this one right here. Oh, he's going after it. Oh! Big ol' eight pounder right there, boys. Come in. Oh, he's so fat. Nope. 
Didn't like that one. Yeah, it did. All right, guys. Got a bag full of frogs. I'm gonna cook those up for lunch tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If y'all want to see more, leave it in the comments. Me and Hayden love to do it, so we'll definitely go out and do it again. But I'll see you guys in the kitchen tomorrow. All right, guys. It is the next day, and it is lunchtime. So what I'm gonna do take you some uh, kitchen scissors. I just clip these guys in half. It's a lot easier to eat them, and uh, it doesn't look like legs as much whenever they're not together. Got those cut up. Now I'm going to take uh, do about a half and a half mixture of uh, flour and cornmeal. So I'm not cooking all these either because she's not going to eat any, so it's just me eating for lunch. Probably about a cup of flour and a cup of cornmeal. That should be good. Mix that up. Add a little bit of critter glitter in there. And we'll add some more at the end whenever we pull them off. Take your two eggs, or however many eggs you need, and uh, that's what you want to dip them in before you put them in the flour or the bread in. Alright, let your oil heat up and then just start the assembly line. Drop some of these legs in the egg wash. Take it from there straight into the flour. You can do that multiple times back and forth. The, just depends on how thick you want your batter to be, but I like it just like that. Take it right there and let her fry up. Alright, these puppies are ready to take off. That batter is that's the best batter you can do for these in my opinion. It sticks on to them super well and it's not it's not like a beer batter and it's uh, not straight cornmeal either. Sprinkle them with some critter glitter right here. It'll stick to them a lot better. Right, Y'all give me crap for eating ketchup with everything, but frog legs, ketchup, Louisiana hot sauce on top of the ketchup. Take your frog leg, dip into the ketchup in Louisiana hot sauce. Mmm. Doesn't get better than that. Super hot. And super good. It doesn't get better than fresh frog legs. The meat literally falls off the bone. I'd rather eat frog legs than chicken any day. Make sure you get out to your local pond. Go get you some frog legs. Amazing meat and it's super fun to do with your friends. I'm going to finish eating all these frog legs. This is my lunch. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Hit that subscribe button and remember, eat good.